What's good? What is up? Don't you hate when people wear their hats backwards and sideways? I'm a dork, it's cool. Welcome back to my channel where real things do not exist. Well, like real videos do not exist. What's up? I call myself Amy Jean. This is my cat. Her name is Brie. She's she's actually literally in between my legs. That's ironic. Here we go. I completely acknowledge that it's a mess in the background, but like I said, this is a fake channel. It's not for real. Um, posterized, that's not a word, edited, highlighted. The number one way you can tell that I am stressed out is if there are marks on my face. Most of the time, the reason that I have marks on my face, which they're not as bad as they were before, is because I'm eating like crap, I'm picking at my face because of stress. That's how you know I'm stressed. That's how you know I'm not feeling 100%. When I'm on the ball, when I have this momentum rolling of productivity, I'm feeling real good, I'm feeling real good, but then I fall off and it's almost like the same exact happens, the same exact thing happens, but it's the opposite where I'm not productive, but it's like the momentum is still building and it gets harder and harder as you dig yourself deeper into the tunnel of like self-deprecation and crap like that. And I'm saying enough is enough. I've been trying to wake up early because whenever I wake up early, I feel productive. I feel like I can plan my day properly. So I've been trying that for two days. Hasn't worked yet. I don't want to be so hard on myself because it's like, I can't magically just do like a, a whole flip and be like, I'm a whole new person again. You need to kind of like be slow and ease on yourself. So I've been stressing because we're moving that I'm at my work from eight to nine, it's really slow. And I normally read newspaper. I always start from the back and I always read the horoscopes. The funny thing is I read my horoscope and it was talking about how when you're feeling down to start to accomplish things because these accomplishments are gonna make you feel better pretty much, that's the gist of it. That's what I got out of it at least. And I was like, oh my God, you're literally like telling me that I should be getting my shit together. But then, <laughs> cause I'm that person who will look at my horoscope and be like, true. But then I'll look at all the other horoscopes and I'm like, also true. So, you know, we're not gonna talk about if I believe in horoscopes or not in this video. I just read them because I find that there can be pieces of advice in them. And today was really like prioritize, get your crap together. And um, it was kind of a slap in the face. It was like, Amy, listen up, like start doing things because it was like this bomb hit. And then I was just like, now I'm just gonna do nothing and I'm just gonna wallow away for a couple weeks. And you don't even catch it right away, which is the worst part. And then it's like, once you catch it, it's like gotten so far that it's difficult to quickly get out of it. So I've caught in it, I'm vocalizing about it and I'm gonna start making change. The way that we can make change here for peeps here, we're gonna have a step process, a process. So the first step is always for me to clean my face because like I said, I'm picking at it and I'm like being annoying about it. So I clean my face, I give myself a little trim. You know, I didn't do like the best job here. I normally also put on like a dress, I put on fancy clothes, but um, I don't really wanna do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Ah, the camera angle probably changed because I didn't keep it in the same place. <laughs> this is high pose. <laughs> Papa, don't stop. What you talking with? <laughs> oh, am I really gonna put that on the internet? Probably because this is a channel where real things don't exist. Step one is complete. Put on something nice-ish or just something that you feel nice in. This dress I really like because it's very comfortable and cute and I love the color blue. So it just, it just works, you know? <laughs> now that we're dressed, come with me. I'm gonna take note from my horoscope and I'm going to sit here. I'm gonna put a timer on for 30 minutes and I'm going to actually genuinely work on some script writing, which I've wanted to do for a couple weeks, but I've just been like down in the dumps. Uh, the problem is when you put on a timer for 30 minutes, you want to like keep working because you're stuck in like the middle of doing something. But that's also actually a good thing to stop during the timer because then it's going to make you want to come back and continue writing or working on whatever you're working on. This is on my face because I was picking at my face again. I have a problem and then it was bleeding. But y'all, this witch hazel, 
Mm -hmm. It just looks nice for one and it's completely natural. I've been really into this natural skincare right now. Obviously you can't tell because I've been picking at my face as we've covered. I've written a script. I've sold my dressers. Yes, I am very excited about that because I had to put it off because we had to sell the house and then now I'm selling them again and they like go so quickly. I'm probably going to sell my bed too. It's kind of like... I don't know, it's weird because I don't really care about like selling any of this stuff, possibly because I, you know, don't have that much value towards it. The only thing I really care about is my cat <laughs> and like where she's going to go, what she's going to do. Because I mean, she's a living creature, you know, I'm not just going to like leave her on the streets. Like my dressers, I don't care about my clothes. I don't care about my books. Uh, my books was probably the hardest thing. Um, makeup, hair, like I didn't care about any of that. It's just, it's just my cat. <laughs> That's all I care about. So yeah, now that we have, I already like feel better. I feel like it's nice that I've gotten work because I actually wrote a script about moving and that has been something that has been on my mind. It has been relevant. It might be something that I post on this channel because it's not really about meditation. I am not sure. Let me know. Do you think I should just have one channel dedicated to meditation and the other one a whole bunch of other crap? Or should I have one channel more scripts and then the other one more like vlog type things like this? Please let me know in the comments below. It'd be much appreciated. Okay, now for something that I personally find very therapeutic and it's cooking. It's baking actually more specifically. I like to bake things even if they don't work out. I just like the process of cutting and then it's like I get this instant gratification of having like a delicious dish. Can you hear that echo? Is that echo really bad? I don't know. So I'm gonna spend some time in the kitchen. I'm gonna put on some music. I'm gonna make some apple crumble crisp thing with no recipe actually. I'm just gonna like I'm just gonna throw stuff together and just go with the flow and just like kind of when I'm in that motion it's like everything else falls away everything else makes sense and it's just so simple but it's something that I haven't done for a long time and I'd like to do that first it's put on something nice clean your face clean your excuses and then it was like get crap done whatever you need to get done get it done put on a timer get it done Maybe just clean up. And then the next step is to do something that you enjoy. Try not for it to be on your phone or something. Just do something that you enjoy. Okay? Okay. Let's do this. Also just like <laughs> feed yourself. <laughs> okay, you peel apple. This is like the best thing ever. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we got a squirter! <laughs> now it's time for my favorite part and we're gonna play a bit. This mat is something that I constantly come back to. I'm constantly fighting from not wanting to go, to going, to not wanting to go, to going. And it can be very frustrating. It's so weird and I definitely believe a bit of ego plays into the uh, the excuses to not go on to it because I know I feel good when I'm playing, when I'm in my body, when I'm doing all these things and stretching and, and yoga is something that always makes me feel so much better. It makes me feel so much more alive. So now it's time to play. It's time to put on some music and just like dance around on this map and kind of just freestyle with it and just stretch and feel my body, do what feels good because I've been really putting this off and meaning to do it. So I feel like the next step is to move your body, but it's also to do things that you have been putting off because oftentimes like the things that we're putting off are things that we really need and we're just like making these excuses that are just stupid. So it is time to have some fun, folks. <laughs> All right, folks, the last step is to get comfortable. Eat some warm food that you had made and watch a movie or read a book or do whatever you want to do to make yourself comfortable. Oh, yeah. And that's really the end of making yourself feel better. Like, I already feel better. It's crazy. Sometimes we're just so hard on ourselves when we shouldn't be. And a big thing that I found was helpful was looking from like who I was expecting myself to be and who I who I want to be in a certain way to who I am now and like the gaps in between. I can't expect to just like wake up one day and magically be this person 
And then also be aware of these expectations that we put on ourselves to like be more than it's possible. Like just chill out sometimes, you know? You know? Let me know down below. Would you prefer to chill out sometimes or to be stressed all the time? Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. I will see you next time. If you enjoy meditation videos, be sure to check out my other channel, Radical Raspberry, and stay tuned for this one for other things that don't belong on a real channel. Peace!